If you're having trouble getting your outdrive off, or you're just looking for a short video showing you the steps of removing an outdrive, then you are in the right place. So let's go ahead and get started. First thing you're going to want to do is put your drive into forward gear if it's an alpha, and then you're going to want to lower the front of your trailer to raise up the back of the trailer. So once you do this, go ahead and raise up the outdrive, so this will give you easier access to go ahead and remove the speedometer connector. And once you get the speedometer tubing connector removed, you'll be able to see the shifting lever behind it. And this is why we put it into forward gear so that it's facing straight back so it's able to slide off easily. Now you can go ahead and lower your outdrive back down almost to the floor. I'm also putting a piece of cardboard under my outdrive to help break its fall. And at this point, we can go ahead and start loosening and removing the nuts that are on the mounting bolts for the outdrive. And if right about now you're wondering why I haven't already taken the trim rams off, well, you're about to find out. Keeping those on is part of the secret sauce of this technique I learned from Mad Props Makes. Now instead of giving yourself a stroke wrestling to get the outdrive off like I had done last time I removed mine, you can simply use a small 2x4 piece of wood and then use the power of the trim rams to pop it off for you. And with the outdrive popped out, now we can go ahead and remove those trim rams. So all this takes is a little flathead screwdriver to remove the C-clips. And once you have those off on both sides, you're ready to remove the rod. And one extra step I do here is I actually clamp together the trim rams, and this just helps uh, keep them from getting bound out when you're trying to hammer the rod through. And to hammer it through, I'm just using a small hammer and a ratchet extender. And once you have that rod out, that is pretty much it. Now you can go ahead and finish pulling out the outdrive. But man, I really can't tell you guys how much that 2x4 trick saves you headache and pain. And the gasket comes out completely unscathed. It really is the best way I have found to remove it. But that is going to do it for today's video. If you enjoyed and really appreciated how short this video is, be sure to smash that like button. But with that said, I do want to say thank you for watching, and I will see you next time.